Hello there and welcome back to Byzantium. We are more or less now starting to get our own little uh, foothold in Italy. And also, as you know last time, uh, Bosnia and Epirus broke free from the Ottomans, who are currently now in uh, kind of a tight spot, I believe. If we check the military uh, armies, total armies, uh, Ottomans have 30,000 men now running around, but they have no manpower to actually uh, enforce those uh, troops, so uh, that sucks for them. Uh, I'll probably have to give in to the Byzantine peasants on uh, Cyprus. Uh, not really that much of an issue here. We're already screwed up or screwed over in several aspects. But what we will be doing is getting uh, military attack 6, which gives some military attack days. Combat width by 2, infantry fire by 0 0.2. So uh, that's good. We'll also go for the next idea, which uh, shortens the time to fabricate claims, which also is important. Austria is still positive on me even though I've taken four provinces in mainland Italy. So the goal now will most likely be to take uh, Siena, probably Rome, and then continue down to take uh, southern Italy, Sicily and so forth and see what we can actually actually get. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. The result of uh, 12,000 Tuscan nationalists rising up in Firenze uh, just after my troops got there ended uh, very poorly. I do have uh, full uh, full military revival I guess. Hopefully the Austrians will come and help me, although that is uh, very doubtful since they are at war with uh, the Bohemians. So uh, I think I'll actually have to start the coring of Firenze all over again. I have no idea why uh, people are walking through my lands. Uh, it doesn't really make sense. Let's see, a rebel so close to enforcing demands, independence, I'll accept demands there. About to enforce demands? What the hell? They haven't even taken anything. How the hell can I be 100% towards enforcing demands? That doesn't really make any sense now, does it? Uh, still, we'll be uh, trying to deal with this. I, However, I do doubt that uh, it will be possible to pull off. But we'll create another Eastern Knight. And uh, hopefully then we can at least cause some sort of commotion. It seems that... Uh, Emperor, with the backing of our members of the Holy Roman Empire, the Empire says I could through with the reform, a Calvary Reich reform, which gives us build cost minus 2%, technology cost minus 2%. So uh, that's good. But uh, we do have some problems here with these guys, so hopefully, as I said, uh, Venice will come to our uh, rescue. If not, then we are in kind of a pickle. So uh, we'll have to see how it turns out. Since Burgundy is getting eaten by France, so uh, that's not good. Siena. Uh, more rebels. The funny thing is, these rebels are. I do have 17 as my force limits, but I have no. I don't have the means to actually, uh, actually sustain that monetary wise. So, uh, the rebels are bigger than me. They are stronger than me. They are scarier than me, and all that. So, uh, what I will be do have to do here is just sit quietly by on the sidelines and, uh, and well. Allow them to siege, then accept demands, and that's simply how we'll have to do demand for religious unity. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Uh, it could potentially screw me over. I don't know if, uh, in order to reform the Roman Empire, that we actually have to be orthodox. Uh, because turning Catholic now wouldn't actually be a bad move. Let's see here. Uh, it doesn't say... For I'm pretty sure that these are the things I actually need to do in order to... Uh, to... Uh, Come, it only says I need to own something. It doesn't say that I actually have to be uh, orthodox. So I think we'll actually go ahead and accept. We'll try it. We'll see if, uh, if things start working then. Let's see, we didn't lose any of the national. No, we didn't lose anything of those. So potentially this is a good move that we can actually. Uh, yeah, Tuscan. We lost Firenze. And we'll probably just have to accept the mons, lose 25 prestige. We are losing a lot of prestige very often now, so uh, we are putting ourselves in bad spots over and over again. But uh, we'll have to wait till we actually get some sort of power, get prestige back up, and then we can start uh, start getting things going. Uh, I'll tend to boost it, or actually will boost it. Once we have a little bit of extension down, I think. I think I'll also go ahead and. Uh, Try and sell Cyprus to these guys. Economy action, sell province, Cyprus. Uh, yes, they'll actually take it. So that could be a good move. I can simply get it again later. And since it's orthodox, I'll, I'll uh, lower my religious uh, problems with it. So there we go. I still, as you know, have Bosnia and uh, 
well, that didn't work out as expected. I still have Bosnia and, uh, and Moria as my vassal, so that's good. And uh, we'll probably have to fight Epera sooner or later. It seems that they have some revolutions on their own. Sunny Sealots, just 4,000 though. Nothing compared to ours. Uh, unfortunately, I'll have to decline you, Emperor. Uh, yeah, lawful territory, aggressive expansion, and so forth. And Kona fell. And with that, we'll have to uh, accept their demands as well. We'll probably stay at minus uh, a lot uh, for a while, thanks to uh, thanks to the fact that we are uh, losing deals with basically everyone. Uh, the reason why I actually have nationalist here is, or rebel for risk is because of the nationalist. So it doesn't really help me if I if I try to do anything else. I'll simply have to stand there. I'll simply have to try and make them into cause to to get rid of the unlawful territory. So uh, there's not much to do. We'll be uh, trying to get that done, and then we'll see how uh, how we're doing. Hungary is offering us an alliance. It would potentially be a good alliance, but seeing as I have all the Austrians on uh, on my side here, and possibly the Milanese uh, once again, I think I'll actually go ahead and uh, and decline this one. Also, another thing here: Naples is finally free, uh, so I can actually start causing them some issues, uh, which also is a good thing. The only real issue is that I have. Uh, more rebels than they have uh, troops of their own and also I believe their allies are kinda scary no not actually so potentially I could go after them the only reason is I will get Siena, I'll get the Pope, I'll get uh, Naples after me because I have uh, I have uh, them all in conversation against me but Medina became a core which is good we are making some progress at least and uh, as you can see, Byzantium is considering this to be one of the core provinces. And I'll probably uh, release Milan as a vassal or something, try to vassalize them. Uh, something along those uh, those lines to try and uh, and get myself up and going again. But for now, we need to uh, we need to build a a proper army, a proper uh, proper force, so we can continue our growth, continue to take land. And as I said, I'll probably be uh, moving south, take this uh, land southernmost. I'll most likely try to keep this uh, at reasonable levels uh, to make sure that I don't get the... Uh... My Emperor, our subjects will now embrace Lombard, have finally been able to. So Lombard is now a uh, accepted culture thanks to Firenze and uh, Modena. Umbrian and Lombard, uh, not really uh, surprising since I only have those uh, kind of provinces. King of Burgundy has died, which gives Austria a bunch more land, which also makes them uh, hate me more for some reason. Why did I just lose 50 alliance, royal marriage, cast spell, I religious... I don't get why I simply lost that much of... Uh, Naples have left the military causation against us, good. But uh, we'll, we'll still be waiting for, I think, uh, these guys to give up. Then we can most likely end up in a war with them, but... Uh, We'll have to see. I'll have to fight Siena. I'll have to fight Naples. So uh, when you consider that, I still have a little bit too uh, too few troops. But I'll upgrade to what six four. No, we'll go for two more Eastern Militia units, and then we'll be saving up money and using uh, using mercenaries. I think for uh, for the warfare, we'll still have to be a little bit quiet, thanks to the Austrians being uh, picky, I guess. But I should potentially also look into getting an advisor to help me here. Hopefully one who... Uh, this guy would be great. But he's a little bit too uh, too expensive right now. So we'll not be hiring any of those. Uh, what I will be looking after is an inflation guy. And uh, the better relation guy is basically all that I that I want. So uh, let's see how this goes. Considering the fact that rebels will very likely tear my realm apart. We'll try to uh, stay clear of them. We'll also be aiming to boost our stability a little bit higher to uh, get ourselves safe. Michael is the new heir to the throne. Let's have a look at him. Uh, 114. So, I haven't had a single good ruler yet, basically. Although, uh, the last one is actually uh, at the level you would expect from... Uh, from... Uh, uh, what's his name? From a uh, merchant republic or republic since they get 411 rulers, so it's not all that bad, but still. Uh, I will be fabricating a claim on Abruzzi, Bari, and Salento, and hopefully I'll get those three because that will allow me to fabricate claims on the remainder of the lands. Uh, probably take Lucania as well, uh, sooner or later, and then the remainder of Napoli. 
but uh, it's also tempting to go after Sardinia, uh, these lands. Basically, focus first on it, the Italian area, and uh, we can take a quick little look on what is the Italian area. Region map mode. Italian or Italy is basically, uh, as you can see here, the green bluish color. So to take the Italian region, I need actually to fight Austria if uh, they don't take anything. I also need all the way down to uh, to Malta and Sardinia. If I want to take the Greece, Greek region, I believe I have to take uh, all these grayish, bluish uh, up here. Yeah, this is the Western Balkos, Balkans, the Serbian region. So Albania, Monastir and Macedonia uh, and south of that actually uh, shows where the Greek region are. So that will be interesting. If I want to take the Eastern Balkans, it will be here. Asia Minor, so forth. There's a lot of lands that needs to be taken. So uh, we'll try to keep ourselves in a position where we can uh, mess around without causing too much trouble. Let's go for the Limba. Military tactics plus uh, 0 0.25. Infantry 5 plus 0 0.10. And artillery fire plus 1. Large bronze mortar and a hoof knee. So basically, I am now artillery. And I should probably add an artillery artillery unit to uh, this army, but uh, I think we'll wait for a little while now. So, uh, what is uh, going to happen now is that I'll peacefully be sitting here waiting for these guys to uh, resolve this little issue of theirs. I could potentially now declare war on Siena, take Pisa, Naples, and Savoy. Not really the strongest of guys, take Pisa and Siena would potentially uh, be a good move as well. Also, since these guys are actually having rebels of their own, I'm not confident that they are that strong. So, uh, I think I'll actually actually try and pull this, this off. I don't think Naples will become war leader because, as you can see, Siena has more men than them. So, uh, I think we'll actually try this. Uh, it's risky. Um, I'm actually in a pretty good position in Italy now. I do have Austria as my protector, but still, they seem to be uh, hating me, and I'm not actually losing any aggressive expansion, lawful, lawful territory, or anything for some reason, probably due to uh, my guy's crappy uh, diplomat diplomatic skill, which also this, this guy inherits. So, uh, we'll have to see what we'll actually end up doing, but uh, concerning that fact, I think I should be a little bit uh, peaceful for a little while longer. Venice sent military causation, Mantua has entered a military causation. So yeah, going to war now is not a uh, a brilliant move. We will be sitting by, saving us some money, so we can actually hire mercs if uh, someone attacks us. So no, we will not be declaring war. We'll simply be sitting by and see what happens. The nation of Austria, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to the raid and conflict against Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. We can always accept that. I will probably not be uh, and part of this war at all. I'll simply be sitting here relaxing, so to speak. But it seems the Austrians are actually losing up here, so that's too bad. Uh, and thanks to military causation, I really have to be uh, a little bit quiet. So uh, we'll see what happens, we'll see how we'll pull this off. But for now, we'll most likely not uh, do anything rash. We'll be sitting here waiting, uh, trying to protect ourselves. I have no idea how many troops Venice actually has. Let's see, Venice. Austria actually has 23,000 men, that's good. Uh, where is Venice on this? There's me, 11. We'll go by country then. Venice, Venice, Venice. There we you are. 7,000 men, 16,000 manpower. And since they are a merchant uh, republic, I'm pretty sure that they have the uh, uh, the manpower to actually screw me over if uh, if they wanted to. So, uh, manpower money. So I have to sit by quietly, especially considering the fact that the colonization against me consists of uh, a couple of nations. Uh, Mantua, Pope, Venice. What I can do, of course, is declare war on these guys then. Uh, but with these rebels, that's probably not a wise move, but still, uh, we'll have to think a little, it a little bit over and see what we'll do. Not surprisingly enough, the bad luck simply follows this Regency Council for my, what, two year old heir? Yeah, it's two year old heir. The Regency Council is actually on his own level, but it has some diplomatic skill, so this isn't necessarily a. Uh, a bad thing, at least we're now losing a little bit, or <laughs> very little, of the aggressive expansion we suffered, but uh, that's good, that's uh, better than nothing. I don't know if my game is bugging out since I'm actually losing so little, but uh, we'll be sitting now very peacefully for the next uh, 14 years or so. Should probably aim to integrate Bosnia, I think. Uh, potentially it could be a wise move, but they are orthodox, so that would cut the 
uh, cause me trouble. So I think I'll actually go ahead and keep them as my vassal for uh, for some time, and uh, then we'll see what we'll do. But unfortunately, I will have to end it here. We ended up in a regency council. Uh, fortunately, we also have now minus one stability. I'll go ahead and boost that to up to one, and. Uh, We'll simply be sitting by now, waiting for the Regency Council to end. So next episode won't probably be that exciting. This hasn't really been either. We have been uh, able to call two promises. Other than that, we haven't really done anything. Milan is falling uh, to the Patriots and to the Fraticelli Heretics. So uh, we'll have to see how this turns out. France is uh, a growing force and will most likely be a, a big hindrance to me. So what I will be doing is improve relations with them, try to get them... Uh, Try to get them to be friendly with me, and uh, we'll have to see how we'll actually handle this. But this will be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye.